and welcome back to the channel so in this video I want to talk about something that's going to be upcoming on the channel in the near future I don't know exactly when but it is coming and that is a e-bike race between Keith and I and I would be riding the Lyric Graffiti, which I'm on right now, and race the Aerial Rider Grizzly. And I'm curious to see which one would win a race. My prediction is that I think that the Grizzly might get off to a faster start on the takeoff, but I think if we have enough runway, I think the Lyric Graffiti would reel him in. And that's my uh, guess. Or just we just gotta find a road with no traffic that is relatively flat i'd like a nice flat road to race on and uh hopefully no traffic and a nice uh, stretch there where we can uh race i don't want to do a quick little sprint i want to do our good pretty good length you know to make it fair and see if the bike can uh maintain its speed for a little bit too I don't know like I say it's probably going to be in the next two or three weeks but um, whenever we can hook up for a ride again or when we get a good location as well but that's my uh, my money is on this bike here. If you want to uh, chime in, if you like the idea of having a race uh, between the Lyric Graffiti and the Aerial Rider Grizzly, and which bike do you think would win in a race? Are you, like myself, thinking that the Grizzly, because of the two geared hub motors, is going to take off to a fast start? And then, if there's enough runway, the graffiti will run them down, or do you think something different? I was going to turn there, but I think I'll turn here. So I think uh, the Grizzly has probably lost a one or two miles per hour uh, at least the one that I have because of the uh, tires being the Huntsman are heavier. So it might have lost a mile or two per hour, but it'll still get up there around 35 or so. Both Keith and I are pretty much the same weight, around 185. He may be a five pounds more or something, but not much. Pretty close. And also... Uh, this bike here, uh, I know is capable of doing at least 37. I've had it up to 39 and that was on a little bit of a downhill though. 
but I know it can do 37 for sure so uh, that's why I say I think the graffiti because of the dual motors uh, once it gets going if you flip on the uh, the front motor for extra acceleration I think it's gonna take off quickly because it does have a lot of bite um, off the uh, start It can maintain it pretty good though, like it can maintain a pretty good speed, but the thing is I think this bike here just goes a little bit faster and I think it'll reel them in if there's enough space. So it'll be interesting to see. What we're going to do is probably both wear a GoPro camera like I'm wearing right now, a chest mount, and do a split screen so you can watch both riders at the same time. I think that would be uh, the best way to do it. So like I say, if you uh, think that would be a cool thing to do and want to make a prediction, let me know in the uh, let me know in the comments section below which bike you think would win the race. This bike does have some pretty good get up and go too. It just takes a little bit longer to get going, but once it gets going, it can really go and it's smooth, very smooth. All right, well, that's gonna do it for this video here on the channel. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel and join us in helping the uh, channel to grow even more than it has, hit that subscription thank you very much for doing that and if you want to be notified as to when the next video is up here on the channel just hit that notification bell and you'll get a notification that a new video is up usually uh, they're Monday or uh, every day of the week and weekend uh, 9 a.m. local time I usually put them up and that's noon Eastern if there's a premiere it would probably be and I haven't done one in a while, but there probably will be one at some point here coming up. Uh, those would be 5 p.m. local time here in the west and 8 o'clock eastern time. And hey, if you would like to purchase a Lyric Cycles bike, I do have a link in the descriptions. If you go to that link and use the discount code Oregon e-biker mark you'll save yourself 150 bucks off of a bike take your pick on any one of the bikes they have there so thank you for joining me on this video and until next time take care